All right, guys, <clears throat> we're gonna, I'm gonna try to show you how to make a photo booth template in Photoshop from scratch. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop. We're gonna create a new file. Um, the size is gonna be 1800 pixels by 1200. And that's for a four by six picture. Press okay, <clears throat> that's gonna be your canvas. You're going to duplicate the layer and then erase the one with the lock. From here, we're going to get the background of um, the actual um, photo booth template. So let me go ahead and open up some of my files. Um, The wedding that I'm doing, it's um, black and gold. This is more like a blue, so this is not going to work. This one probably work. Yeah, this works. As you can see, when you open the file, it's obviously on a different tab. So I want to put it in the original tab that we started. So to do that, you're going to go to the left-hand side, that square, the dotted, uh, dotted uh, square. And you're going to select the whole picture. Oh, man. Okay, you select it, you go edit, copy, then you go back to the original one. And then you go edit and paste. Now we're gonna resize it to the actual size or maybe even bigger of the template that you're doing. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's gonna be our background. Now we're gonna actually start designing the actual, you know, logo, design, whatever, um, with the bride and groom's name um but i wanted something like floral something rust i don't know like a midi no how can you say it like floral you know almost like a monogram so let me open up some of the files that i have okay apply changes and to apply the changes you go to that little square right there otherwise you won't let you like do anything so we're gonna open up another file And I know I have some have some like um, dividers that you can create like a monogram with, and I think I'm gonna use those. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. And again, I'm gonna select it. Oh man. Ah, uh, I'm struggling here. Same thing, edit, copy, go back to the original one, edit, and paste. And there it is. Um, it's black, so you won't be able to see it, but to change the color, you go to the layer here, you click on it twice, then this box is going to show up, and you're going to either color overlay, but I want to do it like a gradient. Um, overlay so I'm gonna deselect that go into gradient by default it's gonna give you that but I don't want that I have another one that looks kind of like gold so once you select it then you double click on it and then you're gonna get this box here 
you click onto this box here that has the gradient you know from black to white or whatever and I'm gonna select this one here which is the uh, one that I have it that I have preset and I'm gonna maybe change it a little bit here Let's see if we can truly add an outer glow. Mm. Nah, no outer glow. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit shorter. And I'm doing this for training purposes. So I'm trying to keep the video short. So we're gonna make it very simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some text now. I'm gonna select this layer, add text, and it's a uh, um, Alex and brand. Uh, we're going to change the font. No, not that one. No, that one's good. That one looks nice. We're going to resize it a little bit. Now we're going to add the date. Go again. It's going to be March 28th of 2020. We're going to change the font. Something more like block. Yeah, that's good. Resize it a little bit. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to copy the layer that we did, that one. Duplicate layer, okay, and we're going to move it down. And we're going to flip it. Yes. Um, are we going to go anywhere? Or we no, we're not going to go anywhere. Okay, so I just put on PDF? Yeah. Okay. And just to center everything up, um, we're going to go to, we're going to apply the changes, apply, then we're going to select this, and we're going to go to view, new guide, vertical okay and we're gonna grab that and bring it over here somewhere we're gonna select the first layer that we got okay that's pretty center as you can see there's the, like a little red dot right there so that means that the lines in the center so now we're gonna go into the Alex Alex and Brenda layer and we're there The march is center two, and then now we're gonna go to copy number two. It's center, so that's pretty much your center there. Now we're gonna get rid of that line. Actually, we're gonna move the line again, and we're gonna use it as a guideline for 
our first square. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna select the that layer again, the, the one with the layer number one, not the background, but layer number one. And then you're gonna go into the dotted square and we're gonna create the the hole for our first picture. Two point six fifth, two point six five, and one point seven five is the size. Two point six five and one point seven five. Then you go edit, cut, and now you cut it. But as you can see, they're still black there because the background copy. It's still there. The background, actual the template, it's the the canvas is still there. So we need to select the canvas, which is background copy, and we're gonna do the same. Edit and then cut. Now, as you can see, the little square. That means that it's transparent, like there's nothing there. It's like a hole. So then when you go into your photo booth program or photo booth software, that's where you're going to put your pictures. And you're going to put it behind this uh, um, layer so that way they're behind it. And then you can add borders or whatever. So now we're going to do the holes for uh, picture number two and three. So remember, you have to select the top layer first, layer one, which is the layer of this design with the buttons on it or whatever. And we're going to do the second one. Let's see, we're going to do it right there. And it was 2.65 by 1.75, I think. Cut. There it is. Now we're going to go again. We're going to select the background copy and then we're going to do it again. There it is. Now we're going to add a guideline so we keep it leveled with the other one. So we're going to go into view new guideline but this one's going to be a horizontal so we're going to do okay we're going to move it so to move anything you need to use that little arrow so now we go here as soon as we see the two lines like that then that means that we can move the line and we're going to put it right there bam there it is okay and then we're going to add another one on the side, on the opposite side. So you go to View, New Guide, Vertical, OK. And then we're going to bring that line. Over here. To give us a border. Bam. So now we're going to create the hole for the other side. So remember, you got to select layer one then the square the dotted square but this time we're gonna start from the opposite corner it's a little bit harder because you, I'm used to doing the others and it was too
Bam. Then you go edit, cut, and it's cut. Now you're going to select the background copy and you're going to do it again. There it is. Pat. Edit. And cut. There it is. So that's your spaces for pictures one, two, and three. Once you do that, then all you got to do is you're going to go into. Remember, before you do the holes, first you have to select layer one, which is the top layer. And then in the same, once you do the same, that hole, then you have to go back to background copy select background copy and do the same hole again so you see those those uh, those squares if you don't have those squares you're gonna have problems putting your pictures in there after that you're gonna just go into file save as I'm gonna call it Brenda and Alex one save Okay, and the file format was Photoshop, and I'll do it like that, so if in case I ever need to come back and do changes or erase the names of the people and change it to something else, you already have this template already made. And then you go into File, Save As again, and then now you save it as a PNG. The reason why I do it as a PNG is because my um, software that I use for my photo booth, which is DSLR, DSLR booth, uh, works better with the PNGs. I've tried using uh, the files as a Photoshop file and Sometimes some of the layers don't appear. I've had a couple problems. So I s Find uh, better to use a PNG file. Of course once you use a PNG file just the way it is That's that's one whole layer So the only thing you can do is like add on top of that layer or put pictures behind so that way your pictures will be in this area here and I always try to make your picture just a little bit bigger so you don't have any any empty uh, uh, spots. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you do it. Um, it was really fast. So thank you. I hope this helps you guys. Thank you and enjoy.